Hello. Hello. Welcome to this week's video where we share if we managed to get away in the van. If you're watching our social media, you'll know the answer already. So, if you've been watching our channel over the last few weeks, you'll know we were planning to go away. Big question, big reveal, did the van, as it's MOT, we were about to get the van MOT'd. Yes. We did. Yes. We made it. So we don't have to make a hasty return in order to get it done no. next week. We can stay an extra week, which is great. So if you're new to our channel, well, welcome and thank you for watching. Um, originally, we weren't sure if we were able to stay in, in, on holiday for the full two weeks because we didn't realise, someone didn't realise that the van needed this MOT part way through, I thought it was a week after for some reason. So you're totally his responsible. Anyway, we managed to have it done the Wednesday before we set off on the Friday. Um, we're now in our first destination, so part of this trip we'll share with you now. And we'll give you a little taste of where we are towards the end. I have a new toy which I want to show you in the video. Um, but yeah, we're in Spain, first part of the trip. Originally planned to go to Portugal, but the mm -hmm. weather forecast was terrible. With the whole of Europe, we've seen some news headlines, the whole of Europe seems to be hit by some yeah. storms. Um, and when we were thinking Portugal, guaranteed sunshine, warm weather, <laughs> nope, rain, top to bottom. There was a red, to right, red weather raining. warning for where we were going, so we decided not to go there. Uh, and considering we'd been watching the forecast and we were worried that we were, we weren't going to be able to travel through because of the forest fires, this was, <laughs> it was just like, okay, biblical, one extreme to another. So... Yeah, so as you probably know from what, if you watch our channel, Caroline loves the sunshine, so we've been chasing the who sun. Who doesn't like the sunshine? I'm sorry, in October in the UK, it's really? like three degrees at home. Anyway, we've been chasing the sunshine and we've ended up in Spain. Um, we've chosen a nice part of Spain and love it so far. We'll share with you, obviously, in the next few videos. We'll launch the next one in two weeks' time. Then we'll start a whole series of our travels. But what we found in Spain particularly, and perhaps because of the weather is forcing everybody into the same sort of area, you must book if you want the best campsites that's definitely true isn't it actually a lot of them were closed which um to be honest we didn't we didn't really consider that they <laughs> sounds really naive and maybe it is naive but we didn't expect them to be closed no i think this some of the sums we look at some of the bigger ones they, they close at the end of september yeah. start of october the one we're on now closes part way through october we're actually yeah. leaving the day before it closes we've extended our stay here but we'll talk about that as i say in the next videos but we've everywhere to go you need to book um maybe it's mm. just this year but there's a lot of people and everyone we've spoken to said the same thing you can't just turn up somewhere it seems to be the best campsite certainly the ones close to the beach etc yeah. you have to book or you're not going to get in we've managed to find another campsite tomorrow it took us ages of searching didn't yeah, it? yeah there's a lot of searching and, and looking around and trying to find somewhere that's open that's got all that's actually got some of the facilities that you might want yeah. Um, so yeah, and we checked to our neighbours who were uh, German neighbours and they said they travel a lot and you have to book. They were yeah, they said pretty it, annoyed about it. They said they've never seen it this busy before and they've had to, they had to change pitches halfway through their stay because it's like they were, the pitch they were on was booked, so they had to move, or move across. So it's definitely, if you're thinking of going to Europe in the winter this year, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend looking to book if you want the best sites. I'm sure there are plenty of sites that are, you know, half decent that you can you can just turn up and stay at and if airs, booking and staying on the camp is not your thing then obviously it's not for you but we yeah, um, yeah we like we like nice campsites because we've only got two weeks we want to make sure we have nice facilities and nice locations which is the most important part so we, we've we've the ones we found so far have been really good we're hoping the one tomorrow is equally as good but we'll show you as i say in the future videos so that's it for this update um we'll give you a little taste of where we are now with my new toy got a new drone Mm. it's so cool honestly I, I, to be fair even i'm impressed it is it is pretty cool <laughs> so we'll show you a quick clip of where we are on the beach and then we'll see you in two weeks time for the next update and that'll be the start of our tour across europe in 2024 yeah and keep uh, keep following on the socials for the odds we'll give you a few clues where we are yeah let you know where we're at and uh, see what the weather's like thanks for watching all the lovely comments so far and we'll see you in the next video bye